The biggest impediment to creating an empowered team is our, is our own desire to want to be or feel in control. But us being in control means we're taking control away from the team. So we're making the decisions. It's not we're evil, we're just, hey, it's what we're supposed to do, it's our job as leaders, and it just feels better because I'm making the decision. You can practice this. You can go to a restaurant. When you go to a restaurant, get the server to choose for you. It's gonna require you to articulate what you want in a, in a way which gives the other person as much flexibility in the decision as they can, but still there's clear boundaries. So for example, if you don't eat meat like me, then I have to convey that to the server. It also requires you to create a connection with the person in order to make it safe for them to make this decision for you, which is, again is a key skill that you're going to have at work. COVID has given us all a great opportunity to practice living without control. And I fly on airplanes and I, and I know just from experience and also from reading the news reports that the incident of sort of airplane rage is up. Almost every flight we seem to have some an angry passenger. So people are struggling with this, but rather than letting it be a struggle and have some dysfunctional response, use it as an actual way to practice living in worlds where you have less control and build that that muscle. If you want to if you want to do that, take it to the next level, introduce some randomness in your life. So you might say here's six movies we could watch. I'll roll a die and it'll it the random chance of the die will choose the movie that I'm going to watch tonight. And when you start doing things like this, you'll find, I think you can train your muscle so that, that living in that world where you, you're not controlling everything just isn't as scary as your brain is trying to tell you that it is. I'm David Marquet. That's your Leadership Nudge coming here, Fireside Chat in Killarney, Ireland. Cheers.